My eyes are blue today. I look new today. I'm not. I promise. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from my blue eyes, and it looks like I'm not wearing clothes, but I promise you I am. I'm gonna do a body painting, like full face of crazy fantasy makeup while I'm talking to you about something that has been on my mind lately. I asked you guys on literally all the social media, on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, about all the things that you did as a kid, but did not realize that they were really, really weird out there until now that you're older, because I have a lot of them. So we're gonna talk about that today while doing this beautiful makeup inspired by, I cannot pronounce this Instagram artist's name, but I've done makeups inspired by the dolls that they create that's so gorgeous in the past. And I'm gonna do like this beautiful art piece of this jellyfish I found too on Tumblr. It's just gonna be a mash of everything beautiful, intergalactic looking. I wanted something that looked a little spacey even though there's ocean animals on my chest. Everything I'm talking about is gonna be weird so why not do something from outer space because not everybody believes in aliens or thinks that they're true but I do and I believe in outer space aliens so. Let's get started. Again, these are rashes from allergies because I am allergic to the earth. I should, uh, well, other YouTubers have done their makeups and lived in a bubble, but I should literally live in a bubble. That would be interesting. Cat jumps through Sephora in a bubble for a day. They wouldn't allow that. They would shut me down before even rolling into the premises. But let's see if we can do this makeup and talk about weird things that you did as a kid. Didn't notice it was weird till later. I'm putting this on because I definitely need a wig. I'm gonna put this crazy wig that I forgot I had because I bought it for another video, using it for this one instead. Um, it's an anime girl wig, so we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna use the Tatcha Silk Canvas and some moisturizer because this is for like oily, oily skin and I have desert skin that's dry as a desert. And as an Asian American, I'm sure if there's any other Asian Americans out there, you can relate when you were a kid. Everyone made you feel weird that you were eating fish, seafood, and other garlicky, amazing foods. They made you feel weird for being different and having different food that's not like chicken cheese potatoes, but instead you were like kimchi, bento box, fish, rice cakes. You know, but then when you grow up, everyone wants to go out for sushi because it's so cool. But when you were kids, they would make fun of you and laugh at you and throw your lunch in the bushes because it smelled like trash to them. Makes no sense, but people grow up, I guess. Anyways, when I was a kid, all my friends made fun of me because when I grew up in my Japanese American household, we ate marinated baby squids. And I knew that people would be disgusted. My brother who's Japanese, he's my full blooded brother. He hated eating squids, but I loved him. Little baby squids at the time. And I loved him so much just to make sure that he got grossed out because he was so mean to me. I would put the little tentacles out of my mouth with like the krakens coming out of my teeth and just to scare him the living daylights out of him. And you know, squid was delicious, but it was also scary to eat because squid have beaks, if you didn't know. No, they're not birds. No, they don't fly in the air. I don't think that would be scary if a Humboldt squid flew through the air. But they do have beaks that are hard and you can't chew through them. They'll actually crack your teeth probably. And that's their mouth where they like clamp, take out body parts of the things that they attack. And sometimes when you eat the baby squid, oh, my tooth is cracking. Oh, I probably have chips in the front of my teeth from eating baby squids. Oh, that's, that's fine. No, we just dealt with that. Asians know how to eat food that bites back. Yes, we do. We just grew up that way. That's just nature. I had this Caucasian friend who, um, her parents would send their kids over to my house to try out all the bento boxes and bonita flakes on top of rice that we called shasuke because their parents wanted them to be cultured. But what they didn't know is that their little daughter, I'm not gonna expose her name on YouTube because I'm pretty sure one of these kids watches my videos, but I would help her feed her cats while her parents were gone and she would eat the cat food. Like, nom nom, this is delicious, not let me try this as a joke to, you know, shock my friends. No, we were in middle school and she actually liked the dry cat food and it just blew my mind. And I wonder if she thinks about the, to this day, if she still eats friskies on the side. You know, 
Make a little ramen bowl, put some friskies on top. Might be a good texture combo, you never know. Don't eat cat food. I'm sure it's not the best for human consumption. I'm not trying to tell you to eat cat food, kids. FYI, I'm not a doctor, a nutritionist, nothing. That agrees with cat food consumption from humans. Oh, I'm using this blue color from this palette. Just smear it on my face with my fingers and I drink a lot of coffee. What is this video? Anyways, the thing that got me on this topic, when I was a kid, this is such a weird thing, I feel like, but then I found out a lot of people do this, but my mom always taught me to reserve your pajamas. What that means is you don't just use them one night, you sleep in them for a couple hours. Did I really get eight hours of sleep? I don't know. Sometimes I walked around and talked to spirits around my house. I'm not kidding you. That actually happened. I used to sleepwalk around my house and talk to spirits and my mom would follow me around the house, making sure I didn't kill myself somehow. Anyways. She taught me to put my pajamas under my pillow so I would have two to three wears out of them, which sounds gross to me now, and I would do this until I moved in with my boyfriend currently, because I've never lived with a boyfriend till now that I was in my mid-twenties. I decided, why not do it? Just go for it. And he saw these pajamas underneath my pillow, like, what the heck is this? And he just put them in the dirty laundry, so after like three or four times of him putting my PJs under my pillow because I always save them there for not the tooth fairy just for myself to remember that I still had so many wears out of that I don't know why I did that a lot of people do it apparently but that went missing because my woman's like oh let me help her out and put her dirty clothes in the laundry I thought okay I'll stop doing that it's a lot of things where I don't realize until I live with a white male that um, growing up as an Asian you don't realize that it's kind of weird but um, in the Japanese culture we make omelets Fancy omelets that bloom like little blankets and burritos. But my mom made these omelets. This, this is gonna sound gross to y'all if you're not Japanese, but she made omelets with tuna in it over rice. Maybe it's cause my boyfriend hates canned tuna, but every time I explain this to like most Caucasian people, they're like, ugh, ugh, so gross. Ugh, don't talk about tuna in an omelet. And I'm like, that's just what I grew up with. Tuna and omelet with green onions and soy sauce. It's so weird to say soy sauce, not the Japanese word for it, on top of rice. That's just like, you know how when people eat mac and cheese from a blue box because they don't know what to eat for dinner and they're like, let's do something quick? Ours was that. I don't know, man. That's just how I grew up. I had this one friend. She was like my best, best friend. And she was also my next door neighbor. She came from a household where they really like didn't want her to eat a lot of food, I feel like. She was kind of a maniac but in a fun way like she would take my barbie dolls and tear their heads off and throw them from the top of my dad's rv into the pool but she was still a cool friend even though she was kind of crazy and she would come into my house and drink my chocolate hershey syrup straight out of the bottle make sure she was nice enough to do the water bird thing where it wouldn't touch her lips but i just thought that was so insane anyways that's just odd. I had some weird friends. I remember I had this one friend and my mom didn't like his parents, but my mom was nice enough to let him and his sister, who were the same age as me and my brother, all of us hang out together and we'd play water balloon fights and stuff. And those kids would pee in our yards. I don't know why they didn't ask for the bathroom. They just peed in our flower beds. My mom was so tired of it. And finally, I think she had the end of it and we didn't see them anymore, but that was just their thing. They would just pee girls and boys they just pee in our flower beds it was a while they never had shoes they pee in our flower beds and we lived in a really nice suburban neighborhood and it made no sense to me maybe that's just a culture thing maybe some people just pee in flower beds openly but california suburban area it's not usually common i feel like there's a lot of blue faces going on these past few days on the channel isn't there with a lot of finger tapping another thing that was super duper weird i'm getting this darker blue so many layers of blue Forget Fifty Shades of Grey, we're doing Fifty Shades of Blue on Kat's YouTube channel. Um, another weird thing, when I was a kid, I had a, maybe I had a strict, strict upbringing is what my friends said I had because my dad came from a Native American household, my mom was Japanese, so we had to get straight A's while respecting our elders. I'm not trying to be stereotypical, that was literally what we had to do. And another weird rule that I had and none of my friends had, which was crazy, I found this out when I went to sleep over at my other friend's house. I'm surprised my parents let me sleep over at anyone's house. I just lived in constant anxiety my whole entire childhood. But when I slept over at my other parent's house, I just thought I was so weird and different. I didn't fit in with anybody. And um, I was like, oh my gosh, you guys get to pick what you want for dinner? 
that that was never a thing in my family. You ate what your parents made, and you, and we had to eat. They had this golden rule: you had to eat one of everything. And if you didn't eat one of everything, you were sent to the backyard or your room without food, like in the backyard in the pitch black dark. And I was so tired in the beginning when I was still a toddler, and they couldn't like really punish me that much because I'm like four. Uh, I had this bright idea that since I had to eat one of everything, I did not want spaghetti with turkey inside the meat sauce because I didn't like my mom's meat sauce at the time. Uh, I would stick my spaghetti in my drink cup like I was disguising it, but my drink was water in a clear glass. You know, those cute little jelly collectible cups that I love. Like how was that, like the print on the cup you think was gonna disguise my spaghetti mess? Nope, it just was a cup full of spaghetti water. <laughs> And, you know, I thought I was a genius at four, thinking of that, thinking I could get away with it. My mom, not so much. She was furious. So those are just some of the things when I was a kid that I did that I was weird. Um, there's a lot more things that I didn't do, but some of you guys did, and you tweeted me, you commented me, you messaged me, all the weird things. We're gonna go through that right now because on Twitter I asked you guys this, and some of you guys had some weird ones. Jessica said she dipped chicken nuggets in chocolate milk because at five years old she would pretend to be a velociraptor because jurassic park was her life and she did that Ooh, that's a cute blush i never had chicken nuggets as a kid my mom made her own like chicken uh, i always thought that kids that got chicken nuggets were so cool and i wasn't allowed to be cool because i never got shake and bake or chicken nuggets i thought that was for rich white people and i would go to my aunt's house i'm sorry Aunt Marnie, uh, just to eat shake and bake and mac and cheese be and ice cream that wasn't vanilla because uh, my family did not give me none of that. I look like Veruca Salt from Drone's Dog Factory. <laughs> just a just a little bit. Rabutka. I hope I'm saying your name right. Five year old me used to think that clothes that were not put away would come to life. My dad had a jacket that I was certain would turn into a witch when I left it on the chair overnight. I used to put his jacket away or stuff the arm in the cushion so the jacket couldn't move much if you woke up. That's crazy and cute at the same time. I used to, this is my favorite one, the same person, used to cut pictures of people's faces out of newspapers and magazines and tape or glue them to rocks that they found. Didn't know everyone, not everyone did that. That's so adorable. I hope my kid's just as cute as that. Now they have pink eyebrows. I need to powder my face and put some white. I'm hoping that my hair will cover these ears because I hate painting my ears. Powder in the blue, powder in my face so that I don't sweat all this makeup off because it's kind of warm in here. Anyways, where were we? Oh yes, a lot of you on Facebook had so many things to talk about on this topic of you as a kid. And uh, some of you were like, Hannah on Facebook said, I would chew on anything. I once chewed the vacuum cord. Um, and my Barbie's feet. I feel like a lot of kids chewed a lot of Barbie things though. But vacuum cords, that's a little, that's a little dangerous sounding. That's a little too dusty pink. We want like white. These are way too pink. I'm looking for like a white, white highlighter. Hannah also said her parents were like, you need to stop that. But you know, she just loved to do it. So young Courtney here on Facebook said that her parents let her put blue streaks in her hair and her toothpaste was blue, ooh, wow. Her toothpaste was blue, so she had the bright idea and put blue toothpaste in her hair, and after that, of course, her parents made sure they knew how much toothpaste she was using. Megan said, I thought pictures could see me so I would never get changed in front of pictures. I remember I saw the movie when I was a kid. Um, oh, Kristen Dunst was in it, it was about soldiers, was that called? It was called soldiers? And the toys came to life. Uh, I remember when I saw that, I thought my toys would come to life at night. So I always made sure I had my bedroom door open and I faced the hallway and my bedroom door whenever I slept because I wanted a quick getaway in case, you know, it came to life and I could get away from the toys hopefully faster. Mary was just like one of my friends and she ate dog biscuits. Okay, now I kind of want to try dog food, but kind of not. Cause dog biscuits, sometimes like bacon strips and um, some dog treats sound and look delicious, but I don't know. I'm just gonna do white stars since I don't have sequent stars. Belle said she mixed all her food in one plate at dinner time. <laughs> 
together to go pl out to play faster. Okay, my grandpa did that because he said Chinese food all tasted the same to him and he says it all goes in the same place anyway. So sometimes I would try to put my orange chicken on top of my chow mein noodles, but at the same time, like that was the only thing I could mix without like getting sick to my stomach over the thought of mixing broccoli and beef with, I don't know, crazy stuff. This is turning out a little cute. So I'm just getting the body glitter from ColourPop on, and it's called Trippin' on Sky since we're doing like a starry, whimsical, space themed kind of look. Just getting a rubber spatula. These are great to put on glitters because you don't want to get this in your brush and have to try to wash out all this glitter. Oh yes, this was a great choice. If you have a little forehead acne like I've been having, reacting to skincare I'm probably allergic to, uh, you could just cover it in glitter. There, I just solved all my world's problems. I don't want to get this too close to my eyes, so we're just going to put it on top of like our cheek, forehead, and then wipe outwards away from our eyes. Because this is for the body. I don't think it's meant to be that close to your eyes because I don't trust certain glitters, especially if it says it's for body and not face. Now that you look like you rolled around at a craft supply store, um, we're going to move on to eyeshadow. Now Isaac on Facebook said that he loved the fumes, the smell of the fumes that the vacuum would emit when his mom vacuumed the house, like the living room, which I have a cousin, she loves the smell of gasoline. Is that weird? Maybe. Now Lexi said that she couldn't sleep without making backpacks first, meaning she was terrified of catastrophic weather events, so she couldn't sleep unless she knew she had emergency backpacks on hand. I'm a little bit like that sometimes. I can't sleep without checking like, sounds like I have a slight tadness of OCD, checking all of the doors that are locked and that my stove gas is turned off. And her mom would unpack them after she fell asleep, which is super cute. I'm just gonna tight line my eyes and do the, this part. Now Loretta on Facebook said that she would pretend she had stomach aches so that her mom would give her Pepto-Bismol cause she liked the taste of Pepto-Bismol, which is funny because I would, get um stomach aches from anxiety as a kid and my mom to make me feel better if i didn't want to come home or she knew that i wasn't really sick it's just anxiety i don't even think she knew i had anxiety but i know for 1000 percent fact that's what it was and she would tell me that mints were like the cure-all medicine for bad stomach aches and she would call mints my medicine so till this day when i have a stomach ache from anxiety i would ask for mints Cause they're my medicine. Did anyone else do anything weird like that? Just doing little designs here that I see on the doll. Now it's time to curl my lashes and put some fake ones on. These are looking cute. Although, just a little more ombre, darker here. Cause I noticed the doll has that. Curl them lashes. I'm just putting on the lashes in the style Cassie from Dollar Lash Club, one of my favorite lash companies. Cause they're so whimsical, flirty, cute. While I'm waiting for those to dry, I'm even gonna put some accent bottom lashes, just little tiny baby ones. I'm gonna draw some lashes too. Now for this, it's gonna be situation. <laughs> Haley on Facebook said that she put stuffed animals in the perimeter of her bed because she thought that would protect her. That is so cute and adorable. I love that idea. I wish I thought of that. You smart. Ashley on Facebook says she would eat the tips off of magic Magic matches. That sounds like a My Strange Addiction episode. Catherine on Facebook says she tried to curl her eyelashes with a fingernail clipper. I could see how kids could get that mixed up because eyelash curlers kind of look like giant fingernail clippers, but that is terrifying and now I'm gonna have nightmares from it. Serene, Serene. A couple of times at school, I would put my jello in a bread roll and eat it so I could go to recess quicker. <laughs> what? Also, my bed was a few inches from the wall and I would pull my mattress out so it touched the wall and I had a little space to hang out in. And when my mom would come in my room and call me out of my lair, <laughs> I said, I'm a turtle. I want to hide in my shell. That's cute. That's weird and cute. See, it's, it's cute and not as weird when you're a kid. Allison on Facebook would eat ketchup on fresh baked chocolate chip cookies. Wow. <laughs> 
honestly, if my parents let me have chocolate chip cookies, I would do the same if they said, you can only have chocolate chip cookies if you eat it with ketchup. Me and my brother would make our dip and it would be half ketchup, half mustard, which is weird because my brother doesn't like mustard, but we mix the two and make our special dip with Tostito corn chips. And that sounds disgusting right now as an adult to me. Taylor on Facebook would call 911 constantly. My brother used to do that and ooh, ooh, he would get a spanking. But so that didn't last more than a week in our family. Harley on Facebook, I would take the breading off my corn dogs and I would dip the corn dog and mustard in the breading and baked beans. <laughs> that sounds good. I would do that now. And I always had a weird ideas that someone could see me at all times, like that people could see through walls and see me, that there was a whole other world on the side of the mirror. Oh my gosh, that's creepy. That's a great goosebump tale of people in a museum where all the mirrors in the world that they could look through. Oh, like we're the museum? Like I was never alone. I used to put ice in my milk. I know people that do that and the milk, the ice turns like yellow and gross. I did that as a kid for a short while. I like to take Pepto-Bismol. Why do so many people like to drink Pepto? It just reminds me of my panic attacks as a kid. I'm gonna mix some blue on top, just a little bit. Oh my gosh, this was from Michelle on YouTube. She said, I used to fold the tops of my ears into the inside of my ears and just walk around like that till they pop back up. One of my best friends did this in middle and high school. I'm talking about me and I scared a Payless shoes lady as she was fitting me for shoes, start staring at my weird ears, ear nubs, and they popped out and she screamed. That's amazing, hilarious. If I had that talent, I would do it all the time though, to be honest. I think that's hilarious. Is that weird or just a talent, hidden talent? I think you just have a hidden talent. Kelly on YouTube said, you used to, she used to act like Ace Ventura pet detective 24 seven, talk like him, quote him for movies, drove her parents nuts, but I didn't see why they got so mad. Alrighty then, P-A-R-T-Y, because you got, <laughs> I think that's amazing. I used to put my SpaghettiOs in the freezer until the sauce was slushy consistency and eat them, SpaghettiO. Popsicles, no ma'am, no thank you. That's not for me. That's nasty and funny at the same time and weird. I love it. The Beatles lane on YouTube <laughs> would wear glasses all the time, but they would stick the part that goes around your ear in the ear to get earwax out, then eat the earwax like it was a little after school afternoon snack. Oh, mm -mm. nope. That's a no for me. I love earwax removal videos, but not that type. Love and Peace on YouTube used to eat chapstick, like whole tubes, like six tubes of chapstick. No, ma'am. That sounds like a stomach ache. Maybe you started liking the taste of Pepto too. Oh gosh, that sounds terrible. Chelsea really wanted pointy ears, so she would tape her ears at night. Hopefully they would stay that way. That's cute. And eat peanut butter chocolate frosting sandwiches with sprinkles. My parents would never let me do that, but do you? That sounds like I would be in such a sugar high. My mom would never let me do that. <laughs> Lucky. Brooke said my friends and I used to put tape records under my staircase in hopes to hear ghosts. One time we did hear a voice say something about some country in Europe. To this day, we don't know who did it. Wow, that's creepy. Christy grew up eating tuna sandwiches with pizza. It's always been like that. It's very strange, but my parents still do it till this day and she's 34 now. I still make tuna sandwich occasionally with my pizza. My grandma eats rice with her spaghetti, meatballs, and um, garlic bread. And I had a friend in high school and she would eat peanut butter and tuna sandwiches on a bagel, so. It's nothing I haven't heard of, but it is weird though. We all thought it was weird in high school when she did that. <laughs> but do you, if you like it. And I think I'm done, I just need to put a wig on. Richard used to take the packaging off of cigarette packs and wrap it around his fingers and rub it across his nose and lips and chew his tongue. I used to eat bologna sandwiches with ketchup when I was younger. That's not weird, my family did that. Cookie Crumble said that. <laughs> River used to hide in the attic thinking they were a ninja. Did anyone else as a kid chew their hair until it got like crunchy and then they crunched it between their fingers? Cause I did that, I know weird. I'm just gonna get this wig. 
Hopefully she looks cute. My hands are covered in blue. This is so dreamy. Why am I screaming? Okay, the last couple of weird things from a, as a kid. WDW used to eat deodorant, what? You ate frozen fish sticks, so they were frozen. <laughs> Ketchup on my pizza, and my dad eats peanut butter and cheese, wow. Another person used to eat chapstick, used to eat frozen muffins and hot dogs without cooking them first. Barbara ate crayons, gave them all flavors, what? Lucy, me and my, nie eat, me and my niece used to eat fire ants, fire ants, what? My mom would make us wear our PJs inside out and backwards and said if we did it, we would, it would snow. I guess she watched the weather because I always did. I used to eat certain lip gloss and also eat bread off the corn dog before I cooked it. What? This person's sister is obsessed with eating hair, like actually eating it. <laughs> wow, guys, that was crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below on weird things that you did as a kid and didn't realize that they were weird till you were later on grown up in life or just the weird things in general that you do. You know, we're all weird here. Thank you guys creators so much for watching these videos and inspire me to do these crazy looks. I enjoy it so much. It's so weird to see my human hands with my blue face. I feel like the girl from Beetlejuice, but if she was like more uplifting and not as like sad, I'm just gonna say she's sad because, oh, so sad what happened to her in Beetlejuice. This came out so awesome, so whimsical and cool. Thank you guys again so much for always motivating me to make stuff like this. It's so whimsical and beautiful. This wig is everything I got from Amazon. Check out pinkyparadise.com for contact lenses like this and Dollar Lash Club for amazing lashes that are very affordable. Thank you guys so much for watching this whimsical out there video. I know this is super intergalactic, cutesy, but a little weird. But we're all weird. Thank you creators so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this and I do effects videos. I do three videos a week now. It's insane. I hope you guys enjoy them. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.